Um, the name of the narrati narrator is Jennifer Brady. The name of the interviewer is Marjorie George. Today is Monday, October 16th at 4.15 p.m. at the Ruth Patrick Science Education Center. The interview assistant is Victoria Cooper. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm just going to start off by asking you a few questions about your early life. Okay. All right. When and where were you born? Uh, Louisville, Texas in 1983. Okay. Uh, would you consider that to be your hometown? No. Where would you consider it to be your hometown? Ocala, Florida. Okay. What was that place like? Just like Aiken. Okay. Exactly like Aiken. So Horse sort of people. A small town, sort of? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what was your family like? Um, mom and a little sister. Okay grew up with. Where did you go to school? I went to public school. Okay. And what kinds of things or activities did you do in school? Um, I played violin and flute and soccer. Okay. Did you do anything after school? Not really. Okay. I joined the military. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that moves us into a few questions about your military service. When did you enlist in the Army? In 2007. Okay. And why did you decide to enlist? It's just a good choice. There's not a lot of opportunity in my hometown. All right. And how did your friends and family react? To not them? well. Okay. Not well at all. I am, I am fourth generation, oddly enough. Um, it was my great-grandfather, my grandfather, and my uncle. So my dad did not did not follow that path, and of course he didn't want his daughter doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, where did you do basic training? Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Okay. And what was a typical day like? In like basic training? training? Mm -hmm. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Tired. Um, you know, you get up pretty early. Start with exercising and. So a lot of waiting, a lot of waiting for the next move. Um, you're not sure what the next move is, mm -hmm. so it's a lot of anticipation. Okay. And what was the hardest part about basic training? I think it was the anticipation. Okay. Very, I like to have things planned out a little bit. <laughs> you know, I at least at least like to know what's coming. <laughs> and um, there you, you don't. You give up complete control, you know, and, and learn to just not know what to expect next, but know how to react to it. Okay. It's pretty cool. And do you think basic training changed you any, in any way? Absolutely. How so? Absolutely. Well, I got stronger physically. <laughs> um, I, I definitely got stronger mentally. Okay. Learned that I could handle a lot more than I thought I could. Okay. And what did you do after basic training? After basic training, um, I went home for two weeks for hometown recruiting. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Fort Lee, Virginia for my AIT okay. for training. And what units did you serve in? Um, I was in the 82nd Airborne, uh, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Okay. And what was your specific job in that unit? I was a logistics supply specialist. Okay. And what was that like? It was great. It's uh, basically inventory maintenance, supply. And I worked for the motor pool, so I got to order and like, maintain like, vehicle parts and things like that. It was really cool. Okay. Um, how long were you with this unit? Um, two, just over two years. Okay. Did you serve in any other units? No. Okay. And how would you describe your overall experience in the Army? Excellent. I had, a, I had a really great experience in the Army. That's good. Especially going to a unit like that that's very structured. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I got to learn a lot from a lot of great people. So okay. I really enjoyed it. Is there anything else about your military service I'd like to mention? Um, I, got, I did get to do some pretty cool stuff. I actually got to, um, in the last few, few months before I got out, I actually got to work with the Postal Service. So I was in charge of like the mail and delivery and whatnot for our, our unit. That was pretty cool. All right. And when did you decide to leave the military? Um, late 2009. Okay. 
Is there a particular reason you decided to leave? I was medically discharged. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what did you do after you left? After I left, um, well, I was also married to a soldier. Okay. So um, I attempted to go to school, mm -hmm. following, <laughs> following around. Um, but yeah, so try to maintain a household, and I've been going to school ever since. Okay. Really. So that transitions us to the college career. When did you go to college? I started while I was in active duty okay. um, in 2008. And what was it like to start an active duty? It was interesting. It was very interesting. You had to learn how to manage your time, mm -hmm. um, especially in the unit that I was in. Um, recall is, is very quick. There's very short notice. So if you're in the middle of an exam and you get called back in, things like that, you really have to, to manage your time well. All right. And when did you go to start going to USC again? I started here in the fall of 2015. All right. And why did you choose USC again? The, the school of business. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice. And what's your major? Uh, business administration with accounting. It's a concentration. Why did you choose that major? Um, well, I have an associate's degree in business administration, <laughs> so it made the most sense to go ahead and continue with that. Um, I just, I, I really love business. I love customer service. I love being able to um, do like data analytics kind of stuff. So, business administration kind of brings everything that I really enjoy mm -hmm. together. All right. And what do you think it's like being a student veteran? It's it's definitely different. Okay. Um, I know for me, I'm a, I, I've got 15 years on some <laughs> students that I'm in classes with. Um, so when it comes to group projects, things like that, um, there's definitely some different perspective, some different mm -hmm. um, things that, that you just learn as you get older, military or not. So those things kind of blending together um, between traditional and non-traditional, mm -hmm. it's, it's very interesting sometimes. But I, I learn things from the people that are younger than me in the mm -hmm. courses, too. So it, it's pretty cool. Okay. So on that note, do you think USC Aiken is a good place to be a student veteran? Absolutely. Hmm? Absolutely. I'm a little biased because <laughs> <laughs> I've been working in the Veteran Center for two years, so okay. I, I really enjoy it. But no, there's a lot of support here. There's There are a lot of people that are like us. Mm -hmm. You know that we can look around and we all know who each other are. You know, we know that we're not alone here. Mm -hmm. So you said you work in the Veterans mm -hmm. Center? And what is that like? It's great. Mm -hmm. We get to support all aspects of military life, military affiliated, you know, family members, veterans. We support with making sure that they get their um, benefits taken care of, that school's taken care of, that their housing is taken care of. Mm -hmm. you know, um, the emotional kind of stuff that tends to come up. So it's it's really, I'm so grateful to be a part of that. Okay. And what do you like to do outside of college work? Um, I make jewelry. Okay. Do a little bit of carpentry, <laughs> some woodworking. Um, that's about it right now. Just a lot of, I'm in my last, like, full semester, okay. so homework. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And do you have any plans for when you finish college? Sure. Um, I plan to go work at ADP mm -hmm. in some sort of aspect of accounting or management. So that's that's my plan. Or or land back in like, the factory with supply, supply mm -hmm. chain or something like that. Okay. And where do you see yourself about 10 years or so in the future? Sure. Um, at that time I hope to be you know, at a at a good point in a career where I can actually enjoy it and, you know, family, things like that, settle down finally. Okay. And do you have any advice for any young students who are trying to maybe enroll in the military or anything? Yeah, I think I think that I wouldn't have done it different. I think mm -hmm. that it was a really good thing that I went to the military first mm -hmm. before I tried this. Um, it gives you a lot more focus. You also realize there's different stresses, but the small stresses of school are not, those aren't forever stresses. These may seem big today, but they're not. 
and those are things I learned from being in the military when you have when you have stress that that potentially can be forever stress Mm -hmm. you know um you tend to start picking and choosing what's really important to let weigh you down okay so like exams things like this that are temporary they're Mm -hmm. for now you know so I would definitely go to the military before I went to school if that was the (laughs) route that you wanted to go thank you and is there anything else you'd like to mention You said you were medically discharged. Mm-hmm. Can you explain that? Okay. <laughs> um, that's kind of a weird question. Okay. Um, so, like, what happens mm-hmm. when you? So basically, you go through a medical board, and they decide whether you're physically fit enough to to stay on active duty, okay. or if there's another place that you can work with your injuries. So, and if not then you you actually get an honorable discharge, medically discharged. Oh. Um, so that's pretty much the way that works. All right. And what type of woodwork do you do? Um, I like to build like shelving and I do like plant holders, like outside tables, things like that. And I, I do a lot of refinishing. Okay. I like to find stuff at the flea market and sand it all down and <laughs> repaint it or stain it, whatever. Okay. It's pretty fun. All right. I think that's just about it. Well, thank you for your time. No and thank problem. you for your thank service. You.